So here's the big question. How do you sell heavy duty parts in a digital world? That's the question, and this is the place where you're gonna find the answers. My name is Jamie Irvin, and we are live in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to another edition of Jamie Irvin Live. So glad that you are here with us today. Over the last 14 weeks, this is our 15th week in a row that we've been focused on this subject of how to sell heavy duty parts in a digital world. We've covered a lot of ground. We've talked about the different platforms to get your message out there. We've talked about your website, your blog, doing a podcast, social media channels, how to make videos. We've talked about all of that. But at the end of the day, regardless of what platform you are making content for as part of your marketing strategy, also known as your content marketing strategy, you have to sit down and make content. And so today we're going to talk about the content formula that works every time. But before that, let's uh, hear from our sponsors. So this live broadcast is sponsored by the Heavy Duty Parts Report. And if you would like to follow the Heavy Duty Parts Report for free, go over to heavydutypartsreport.com and there you can follow us for free. Make sure you sign up to our email so that you get the weekly email you never miss out. And you'll be able to catch our broadcasts where we do Monday morning podcasts. Every Monday, we drop a new podcast episode. And on Fridays, we do a live interview. So there's some great content over there. We're interviewing industry professionals. We're inter interviewing parts specialists. And uh, we're really getting to the bottom of how to sell parts, high quality parts that lower cost per mile for fleets. Great, great content over there. And also, I just wanted to mention that because we're live today, if you would like to make a comment, if you'd like to ask a question about what we're talking about today, do so. I'd be happy to incorporate you into today's presentation. All right. So today, like I said, we're talking about the content formula that works every single time. I'm talking about a formula that you can use regardless of what type of content you're making. This works for blogs, for videos, for images, for social posts, for website copy. Next week, we're even going to talk about how this formula can be adapted to the sales situation and pitch decks, but we're going to focus on content marketing today. So before I tell you what the formula is, I want to get the big mistake that most of the people that I see who are doing this, the mistake that they constantly make. Because I don't want you to make this mistake anymore. So the mistake is that they spend way too much time talking about themselves and their company, their products, their features, the benefits of those products and services. They spend way too much time talking about that and nowhere near enough time talking about their customers. This formula that I'm going to teach you, we'll just call it the content formula, corrects all of that. So let's talk about narrative storytelling. Now, I want you to think about some of your favorite movies, a couple of my favorites, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. These are great narrative stories. And there are very specific elements in these stories that are identical regardless of what story is being told. These elements are consistent and they are used over and over and over again in great storytelling. And when we are inviting people to consume our content, we should be inviting them into a story. Now, in that story, there are four elements that I want to talk about. So the first element is the hero of the story. When you talk about yourself and you talk about your company too much, you're making yourself the hero of the story. And guess what? Your customers aren't interested in a story about you. They want to hear a story about them. So the first element of the content formula is to clearly identify who the hero is. This should be your ideal customer. This is very, very, very important. Even if you get everything else wrong, if you got that right, things would get better. People would be more engaged. At least customers would be more engaged in your content. So you want to clearly identify who the hero is. That's the customer. 
Now, in every great story, think of some of my favorite Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. There is a great villain, a super villain. And in this story that you're inviting your customer into with your content, you want to clearly identify what the villain is. Now, in, in the context of doing business and with heavy duty and the trucking industry, there are many, many villains that we are trying to fight on many, many different fronts. So depending on what product or service you're offering, it's going to change who the villain is in your story. But some of the common villains are the high cost of fuel, uh, downtime, right? Low quality parts that increase cost per mile issues related to driver and technician retention. I mean, there's many, many, many problems. And, and that's who the villain is in our, in our content formula. It's, it's not necessarily an individual person, but it's more likely that it's a, in a specific problem that your customer is facing. So that's the second element. So we've got the first element, we've got the hero, we've got the second element, we have the villain, which is the problem that your customer is facing. Now, in every great story, there's a lot of tension and struggle, but eventually the hero is successful. And that's really a transformation that you want to talk about and you want to explain in your story that your customer, the hero, will face a, a villain, a difficult problem, but they will be able to overcome that problem. And when they do, there's going to be a big upside. Right? There's going to be a transformation from where you are today to where you're going to be tomorrow if you, you only would use our solution. So that transformative component is very, very critical in good content marketing because we not only just want to talk about the transformation, but we want to deepen the hero or customer's appreciation of the, the stakes that are involved. And the best way to, to make a really good story great is to raise the stakes, to make the hero face something that is like really, really difficult and is going to put them at great risk. Just think of your favorite story. You know exactly that what I'm saying is correct. So that kind of transformation where we've raised the stakes, we've demonstrated perhaps the economic impact of them doing nothing and it's not good and the stakes are really high, but if they use your solution, they're going to transform, they're going to overcome and defeat the villain of the story and they're going to be successful. Okay, so if we did all of that, that would be great. And our content would get a lot more interesting and we would really be able to reach more people with this higher engaged kind of content. But there's one more element that we have to put in place in order to make this truly successful and a repeatable formula that you can use over and over and over again. Because remember at the beginning of our conversation, I said, don't talk too much about yourself or your company, focus on the customer. You still have to let them know who you are and what you do and that you are the person and the company who can offer the best solution to overcoming this villain, the problem the customer is overcoming. And that's where you position yourself as an advisor, as a guide, as someone who's been there, who's helped other people just like our customer overcome these problems successfully and that they can, with your help, overcome that problem and be successful just like what you've described in your great story. So by positioning yourself as that advisor, that is a critical way of repositioning your company in the story in a more successful way. This makes the customer feel that they can trust you and that they should do business with you instead of someone else. And you can even address in your story that there are many advisors available. There are many suppliers of what you sell. There are many service providers of what you do. But if, since the stakes are so high, they don't want to make a mistake. And since they want to, you know, have this great transformation, they need to talk to you and you alone. And you need to demonstrate in your story why what you offer is superior to what someone else, another kind of advisor would offer them.
This is all, these elements have to be all weaved into your content marketing. And so this can be part of, of like I said, this can be part of a blog. It can be part of a video. It can be part of even an image. Think about that for a minute. Look at Instagram. I, I spent a lot of time this morning looking at our Instagram. We're making some changes. You could incorporate all four of these main elements into an Instagram image. You could clearly identify the customer in the image. You could clearly identify the problem. You could clearly identify the transformation and you can clearly identify yourself as the advisor or the guide who's going to help them. This is all done in every style of content that you can make from written to visual moving pictures, video to still images like on Instagram. It's all possible, but it does take a little bit of a foresight. It does take some planning. You do have to go through a checklist of these elements and say, have we properly identified each element in our, in our content? And is our ideal customer going to see that and, and want to engage with it? And then when you go and you put it all together and you publish it, you can then review the results. You can make small adjustments and then you can review those results and you can do what's called split testing. So that's where you offer the same group of people, almost identical content with just small variations. And you look at which one performs better, which informs you of which direction you need to go long-term. There's a lot to this. And I have spent a lot of time learning from very, from different sources, the psychological things that are going on here, the, uh, the, the, the marketing best practices that have evolved as digital has become more and more prominent. And I want to help you with your content. So if you would like to work with me, and if you would like to have me step in as that advisor to help you take your content marketing from where it is today to a level that will perform at a much higher degree for you. And that will help you sell more parts, which is going to put more money in your account, which is going to help you to be more successful. If you'd like to have that transformation, then use me as your guide, as your advisor. And the best way to reach out to me is to reach out to my email. Just send me an email, jamie at heavydutypartsreport.com. I would love to help you to make your content marketing more engaging, to make it more successful, to help you with your business objectives, and to overcome that, that crazy villain that we all face, which is the economic reality that we're in a very competitive industry and that it is very difficult to get heard through all the noise and to differentiate ourselves from everyone else. But if we do it correctly, and I now have showed you exactly how we're going to do it correctly, you will be able to stand out, create a message that resonates with your ideal customer, and you're going to be able to sell more heavy duty parts in a digital world. So I'm looking forward to working with you. Head, just send me an email, jamie at heavydutypartsreport.com, and we'll set up a meeting to talk. Next week, we're going to continue this conversation. We're going to extend the content formula to a pitch deck. So if you're in a sales situation, maybe you have a slide deck that you need to show virtually or even in person where it's up, it's up on a, on a screen behind you. Or if you're going to be sending a video to one of your prospects or customers and you're trying to explain what you do and your value proposition, I'm going to show you how to take the content formula and adapt it to that sales situation to be more effective as a sales professional selling heavy duty parts in a digital world. Thank you so much for checking out today's live stream. I will be back next week. We'll be talking about those, those pitch decks and I'm looking forward to sharing more information on how to do this. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great weekend. We will see you next week. Thank you. And we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.